So sorry, I'm back. I had to answer the door. Um, okay, we have the table and we have the components. And right now, nothing is really happening. But we, what we want to do is have those files be referenced to the table file. And um, for that, I'm going to be. Um, I, I hit the bottle and I say action. I click on actions and I say reference master file. And now I get a reference. I'm going to put the bottle on the table like that. Sorry for that terrible modeling. Actually, I, 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 I can model. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing for the plate. I'm going to say uh, reference, reference the master file, and put it on the table. All right. Um, and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into the currently open tab again and we're going to save a new master file. And now I'm going to explain what this means. Um, when, you, when you do a new master file, it, it checks if the file has references. Uh, <clears throat> at this point, we're going to say, okay, um, I want to keep the references and, um, you know, if I have display layers, Sometimes you want them, sometimes you don't. Um, before it does, it writes a new master file. It gets rid of them, you know, to keep keep the next generation of files clean. So it kind of depends on, on 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 your taste if you want to keep them or if you don't want to keep them. Um, there's a place for a custom command. You could write an extra mouth script that would you know perform some um, an extra set of actions on that scene. Maybe before um, before it gets written, could be. Oh, basically, you could strip off all the textures or um, make all kinds of adjustments, delete all the lights, delete all the cameras that you don't need. Um, I keep that to your imagination, but the good thing is there is a slot. And uh, you could write comments. Okay, this is like the table with dish and bottle. New master file. Looking at uh, at our asset browser again. Okay, um, this is interesting as well. Um, if the files have a little plus sign, that means there is a, a master file available. And for example, if I do, um, uh, let's just reuse this one. It's called table table two. It's the same thing, it doesn't matter, it's just a file created. And you see here, this is, in this scene, in the table 2 scene, I gotta reopen it again, there's only a workshop file, there's no master file available, that's why we have the minus sign, here we have one, there's the plus sign. Um, okay, um, let's go to the shots. Um, so depending on how you, you would order all the sequences in your film, you could say, okay, we have like um, a sequence called intro, then you have one called the middle, totally depends on what you need, and it's the end. And maybe you have you get the idea, and um, you could then say, okay, this is uh, intro and create a shot file, and I'm gonna start with an empty shot. Um, it's gonna be zero one, or you could. I, I usually I usually call them shot one. Um, and maybe have some other info about it. Entry. Then it's shot two. Keep my naming convention in a similar way. So it's zero two and it's their meeting. And um, here with the components, actually I haven't really found a way of using the components. Maybe Maybe there's some, you know, looped animation that you could throw in there, or I don't know. I, I've I've never needed it, so um, I usually keep 
keep it with shots sequences and shots that's all I need um, and now I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna reopen this I'm gonna say okay double click on on my shot I'm gonna say new file new scene and now we have an empty scene we, let, let's check again that's I, I, I like to check where I'm at so I know that the system is is placing all my files at the proper location so um, workshop zero that means there is no workshop it starts with one and um, cool thing well, it's it's convenient they have under under this tab here called Maya tools they have the reference editor and um, I'm just gonna I could either manually create references now but um, this is open and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reference in the table and I'm gonna hit table once just select it and then say reference in the master file and hooray there we are um, and because this is what we need so far uh, I'm gonna save it as a workshop just gonna do version one and um, I could also do the same thing for uh, for the second shot, the meeting. Maybe I'm going to be using the table again, most definitely. I mean, that's why we have them as assets. Um, and the cool thing is, because it's a reference, it's it's the file when we save it is going to be super super tiny because it doesn't contain the geometry because it it gets referenced in there. Um, and that's even more important when we do the um, the animation. Um, but the interesting part is what happens to this file once we update a prop maybe like this one um, the bottle again yeah, it, it just it's, it's, a, it's a reference for uh, for, uh, for the um, for the size of the bottle but when I go into the bottle props this and maybe double click uh, I have saved um, the shot so I don't save it again Okay, then I'm just going to do like a little edit in here. Like this, faces, some more quick and dirty modeling for you. Rup. So this is the bottle. Check again. Okay, this is open. Table the bottle version 2 and I'm going to save out a new master file um, did some modeling okay oh it's the command I'm sorry haha <laughs> supposed to go in the comment not in the in the procedure okay master file working fine and now let's go back to the shot browser and you know guess what happens if I'm gonna reopen my shot number one the entry it's gonna update my table scene and oh no what happened um the bottle didn't update why is that let's go back to the table and in here you see it did update and that's because when I save the master file for the table, I'm going to do it again, save master. I said import references. And so it, it imported this, you know, the, the earlier version of this bottle, it imported it into the reference. So this time it didn't really update it. So these things get, they're, they're, um, they're in there by default. So um, you might turn them off, say master file. And if I open the shop browser again, this is the shot. 